I have to close in. Because remember, if we go back to some of the very early lessons, especially relative to spinning hands. So this whiteboard is a little bit small, but it should give you the visual that for the most part, all the most vulnerable targets on a human being with the exception of the groin and the kidney are basically, let me see if I bring this a little bit closer, basically inside this box. Right. You could say like behind this box, because it's my eyes, ears, like the hollow of my throat, like all of this, right? So all this very vulnerable stuff here, the armpit down to the liver, solar plexus, the spleen, again, back up to the armpit, like both of the nipples, because you can, it's a, the nerve endings behind here that the same uh, nerve endings that innervate the diaphragm are exposed uh, behind the nipple. So, you know, we've all had the wind knocked out of us, right? Like you fell and then you couldn't breathe or somebody hits you here and then you couldn't breathe because all those nerves from the diaphragm are exposed right there, the nerves get shocked and it causes a, a temporary partial paralysis of the diaphragm. So you can do the same thing by hitting uh, the nipple, but it will only cause it on, on one side, that partial paralysis, but still, so it's a, a target, a very vulnerable target, you can say. So it's all, everything is like, if I stand, hold this out from, here, you see that this box basically defines our primary target areas all exist within that field, All right? So that's why it's the four strategies from out here, like when we do spinning hands, like the whole reason that I need to give close, close, right? So now, you're looking at me as your opponent. So you're trying to clear everything inside of this box. So you're trying to give me close, close. So see now you've got my hand out of the way, pinned below that target area that we're looking for. So I give close, close, that box is open. Then I can attack in, right? Or, you give open, open. So you've, you've opened me to the point that, again, this box, the edges, that's the perimeter of our target area that we're looking at. So by giving me open, open, now you've opened up this box, that target area. And again, now you can, you have at least, a, you have the space to be able to attack. Right now, uh, it doesn't mean that at the point of contact, you might not have the energy to attack yet. Because if the opponent knows how to maintain circle to center, even though, so I, I know how to maintain circle to center. So even though you gave me open, open, and now the box is clear, but I know how to maintain energy to the point, to like to the perimeter here. It doesn't matter because uh, I'm still going to have some pressure there that you can't attack in. But the first, uh, the first requirement is that the space is is open, right? If the space isn't open, there's absolutely no way to attack, right? Because it's something in the way, right? First thing, I need to get this out of the way. Then I can try to attack in, right? Or this is in the way, I need to get close, close, close. Now I can try to attack in. But as long as this is something in the way, physically, 
in the space, my hands are up. No way to attack in. So uh, minimum, you need to close, close or open, open, clear this box. 